Howdy folks! Welcome back to Exploration Place and our STEM challenge. We are going to have some fun today, folks. Uh, well, we've got two of our fantastic employees right over here and they are going to be feeding some birds. Yeah, we're going to have them chasing after some worms. So before we get too much into that, let's meet our two contestants. You know Miss Jessica. She's back for another challenge. And next to her is our TikTok star, Nathaniel. Uh, check out our TikTok station. You can see Nathaniel and uh, some of the ways that he helps keep us all safe and clean here at Exploration Place. But our challenge today is going to be fantastic. Uh, the STEM challenge this week is, of course, to build a bird feeder. So we thought, well, there's other ways to feed birds, and that's when mama birds feed the baby birds worms. So let's go take a look at where we've stored our worms. Come on, folks. All right. So... Right down here, we're going to go down the ramp, and we have to go underground, so down into our aquifer station. And you'll see at the end of the ramp here, we've got our collection of worms. And the collection of worms is quite spectacular. There's all kinds of worms in here. They're going to be collecting these worms, running back up the ramp, and distributing the worms into the nest. All right? Now, only the worms that make their way into the nest will be counted. There will be one minute for each contestant. We're going to do a best of three. So each contestant will go, come down, they'll have a minute to gather as many worms as they can, put them into the nest, and then we will run it again. First one to get two wins, wins. All right. So right now, the contestants behind me are thinking, this sounds super easy. Run down the ramp, grab a whole bunch of worms, stick them in the bucket. Yeah. Well, Hopefully they don't have too many well-laid plans because uh, I'm going to be asking them to wing it. No, that might involve the use of hands. We can't have that. Instead, we have our very own Beaconator. Oh, that's right, folks. <laughs> we have got the giant Beaconator. worms and bring them back up the ramp and distribute them into the trash can. Now, of course, it'd be pretty easy if you could just run right up to the trash can and do whatever you want. So we're going to have a little barricade right here for you. It's going to be going across and you're going to have to stay on this side of the barricade while distributing your worms into the nest. That sounds crystal clear to everybody? Yes. Yeah, you guys got that down? All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and put this into place right here, just like that. And just like that, they went, oh, there was a twist. Yes, of course there was a twist. Daniel's involved. And there's a twist every week, as Miss Jessica pointed out. She's like, there's a twist every week. And I said, well, some week, maybe there won't be a twist, and that'll be the twist. That would actually twist things up. But instead, today, we do have a twist. You're gonna be standing behind the barricade, you're gonna be dumping it down. Now, I want you to go back to back. We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors, shoot for who gets to choose to go first. So uh, Nathaniel right over here, social distancing folks, there we go, okay, good. All right, and put your uh, weapons out, and one, two, three, shoot! Oh, Miss Jessica, all right, so Miss Jessica, who's gonna go first? I, I think Nathaniel should go first. All right, so the, the rookie gets to go first. Uh, Nathaniel, you're gonna be headed out first. Now, the one rule about our Beaconator is you have to keep your hands on the poles south of the tape. So you can't come all the way up here. You have to be way back here. And you have to have a hand on each pole at all times. Okay. Understand? Understood. You got it? Okay, very good. I'm gonna sneak over the rope, through the ropes, behind the pole of the rope. All right. Miss Jessica, you're gonna head back to Kiva to uh, your isolation chamber so she doesn't get any good hints at how to do all this. And we've got a timer. Let me pull out the timer real quick. All right, here we go. We're gonna have one minute on the clock. Are you ready, Nathaniel? I am. All right, we're gonna start on my mark in three, two, one, go. He is off and running, folks. He has made it down to the worms. He is going for his first collection of worms. Oh, look at that. These birds are eating good tonight. All right, now we get to see how he distributes them into the nest.
30 seconds left. All right, he's down for his second batch. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Oh my, my folks, he is going for it all right there. We got 10 seconds left. All right. Oh, let's take a beak in the beak. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no lump in Joyville. We are done with our first challenge, and we're going to have a quick count here with uh, Miss Victoria. Oh, right, over here. This one obviously does not count. That's 11. All right, so Miss Victoria, you have your count? Yep. All right, very good. Now, uh, Mr. Nathaniel, uh, now that you've already gone, I'm going to make you all go back to the isolation chamber. If you'll bring, send Miss Jessica out. Yep. You did a good job. Thank you very much. All right, Miss Victoria, why don't you tell us a little bit about our stay-at-home gym challenge for the week? Will do. All right, so this week we challenged you to build a bird feeder using only recycled materials and then found materials around your house. So those found materials can include sticks or leaves, or anything else that's natural that a, that a bird might really like to see, as they do respond better to natural materials than they do those recycled materials or human-made materials. So you guys so far have had some amazing submissions, and we're hoping to see some more to keep that challenge going. So make sure you guys continue to submit those at um, discover at exploration.org or by posting on the picture, the STEM challenge picture for the bird feeder on our Facebook page. Mr. Daniel, you ready down there? Yes, we are all reset and ready for round number two. Miss Jessica, if you'll grab the beaconator, head right over here to this side of our rope. Get the rope from inside. And all in I have place. to do is keep my hands behind these tapes. That's right, keep right. your hands on the poles at all times, behind the tape, and grab as many ones as you can using the beaconator. All right, are you ready? I think so. All right, we're gonna go on my mark in three, two, one, ready, go. All right, she is off. She's down the ramp. Ooh, got 47 seconds left. 45. Oh, you can't go on the other side of the rope. Oh. You got to stay on this side of the rope, remember? What's in the gift? Okay, we got good set. All right, she's back. She's down. She got 30 seconds left. Piling it on. They're like big, giant, beginner chopsticks. They really are. 14. 10. Watching the other person is really not going to do anything but just give you something to laugh at for the rest of the week. Don't so, worry. all right, very good. Miss Victoria, you have some more information for I us do. while I go reset? Yeah, all right. So, as you guys have been able to see, we have a crazy social media presence. But we're so close to reaching 20,000 likes on Facebook. And since it's our 20th year, we'd love to make sure that that happens in 2020. So if you can share and invite your friends to like Exploration Place on Facebook, that would be great so that we can get as many likes as possible this year and hopefully meet our goal of 20,000. So I think we're ready to go for the next one. So Mr. Nathaniel, why don't you go ahead and get ready so that as soon as Daniel comes back up, we will be able to start again. All right. We are set back up. Remember, folks, just to be clear, our contestants have to stay on this side of the rope while depositing in the can. They have to go over, they can go under. It's kind of up to them, but. Ooh, that's a little bit further. Yeah, round two might get a little harder. All right, folks, here we go. We're going to get ready to start here. Let me get the timer ready. And uh, three, two, one, go. 
All right, Nathaniel is off and running. He is in the worm pit. He is quite the handful. He's headed back to the nest. Ooh, careful. Oh, look at that. Oh! oh. Almost a perfect run. We got 35 seconds left. He's gathering the beak. Twenty-four seconds. Fifteen seconds. He is batting clean up now. See if he can get any. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, oh. zero. Oh, that is it, folks. We're getting a count. That one obviously didn't count because it didn't make it in one, the bucket. Two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight